I would like to um, cover for the next few minutes the highlights regarding the uh, use of liquid biopsy and other NGS uh, analysis in the um, uh, last edition of the uh, annual meeting uh, of ASCO 2018. Um, I would like to uh, uh, highlight that the, uh, most of the uh, abstracts that were presented uh, were based on the study of CTCs, circulating tumor cells in different tumor types, such as uh, breast cancer or prostate cancer, but there were also other studies, very interesting studies, uh, regarding the use of uh, cell-free DNA um, in patients with uh, lung cancer, ovarian carcinoma, even uh, gastrointestinal tumors also. So I would like to highlight, uh, regarding the CTC analysis, the prophecy trial that was uh, conducted in patients with prostate cancer <coughs> after the use of androgen deprivation therapy. And uh, those patients uh, eventually were going to be treated with ansalutamide or um, abiraterone. And uh, in those patients, prior to the start of this uh, new um, um, uh, the line of therapy with uh, hormonal therapy, uh, they were uh, studied with different uh, assays <coughs> for detecting the um, uh, RV, uh, ARV7 uh, variant, splicing variant of the uh, androgen receptor in order to uh, study prospectively uh, the alteration present at the time of uh, the initiation of the treatment and after the progression to that treatment and before starting a new therapy with taxanes. Uh, there were two different uh, assays that were uh, compared. <coughs> Both of them were uh, equally able to detect the variant in the same um, patient uh, cohorts. And <clears throat> in both cases, the uh, study was able to demonstrate uh, how the, uh, this alteration um, uh, may change over treatment. Uh, there's another tr uh, trial performed in patients uh, with um, uh, breast cancer, metastatic breast cancer, it is a sub-analysis of the Paloma 3 trial in which uh, patients with metastatic breast cancer uh, were exposed, uh, um, uh, were randomized to, uh, to treatment arms. One was a fulvestrand alone and the other one was a fulvestrand plus palpocyclib. In those patients, <coughs> the alterations in the tumor were studied um, upfront and um, during the treatment and what they uh, found is that uh, uh, there were many alterations that were acquired uh, uh, during the treatment with the combo, uh, fulvestrand plus palpocyclic. And those um, in, in, uh, were different than the ones that appeared in patients treated with fulvestrand alone. I would like to mention that RB1 was the gene that was most significantly uh, changed uh, during treatment with the combo compared to the uh, monotherapy. Um, I would also like to mention the trial or the updated uh, data that were presented regarding the Checkmate 227 study in no small cell lung cancer patients receiving immunotherapy <coughs> uh, with uh, nivolumab plus ipilimumab upfront uh, compared to nivolumab chemotherapy or chemotherapy alone in patients with uh, less than 1% expression of PDL1 in the tumors. So in uh, this updated uh, uh, presentation, the uh, results were significant again in terms of a higher benefit in terms of progression free survival for those patients uh, receiving the combo uh, IO treatment with nivolumab and ipilimumab uh, in patients with uh, TMB high considered as being with more or at least um, uh, 10 mutations per megabase. I would also like to highlight the uh, results of a study presented by Jeffrey Oxnard um, in um, its sub-analysis of a bigger trial that is conducted in more than 15,000 participants with different tumor types. 70% of those uh, participants are, are uh, cancer patients and the other 30% are individuals with no known uh, uh, primary tumor. And uh, the sub analysis presented was regarding only patients with lung cancer or those that eventually developed lung cancer. And uh, the trial was intended to uh, demonstrate potential alterations that may lead to an early diagnosis of lung cancer. Um, to uh, finalize, I would like to uh, recall also some other abstracts. Uh, 
one of them regarding uh, the use of uh, tumor mutational burden in ovarian carcinoma patients, and was compared to DDR, so the DNA damage repair genes, and what they found is that uh, there was a correlation between both uh, um, alterations, uh, TMB and DDR, and second, that patients with a higher DDR or higher TMB of very carcinoma patients uh, presented a, a better uh, clinical outcome when treated with uh, conventional treatments for ovarian carcinoma. I would also like to um, mention a trial that was conducted in patients with colorectal cancer in order to investigate uh, the use of uh, liquid biopsy to demonstrate the presence of uh, fusion genes. In this case, um, the, this uh, trial was lead, led by uh, uh, MD Anderson, United States, and they used a uh, Garden 360 um, test to uh, study fusion genes in those patients, and they were able to find uh, 45 uh, patients with fusions, and the fusions more uh, commonly presented were FGFR3 uh, and 2, ALK, and also RET. And I think that is uh, an interesting uh, abstract, uh, um, making the point that uh, fusions, fusion genes are present and we can actually find them using uh, a sufficiently um, uh, sensitive, sensitive uh, uh, test in liquid biopsy.